Hey guys, this is Aiden Struve with Struve Family Farms, and we're back out here today cultivating our organic corn. And so we're out here making our first pass with our buffalo cultivator and John Deere 4640. So I'll just kind of give you guys an overview of what we're doing, and we'll take a look and see how we're doing yeah, at cultivating. So we're out in this field, guys. This corn is about a foot and a half high, so it's about mid chin high if we look down here. And so uh, I'm gonna say we're looking at about 14 inches of height on our plants. And so far everything's looking real good. So in the last week we have, or about a week and a half, we've gotten an inch and a half of rain. And that was really the first rain that this corn had on it. So when we were out planting this field, we were a little nervous about moisture because um, we were just really dry. Uh, we were beginning of June, which was all right, but uh, it was just really dry in this area and so we made sure that we went down um, as deep as we needed to to get that corn into um, pretty good moisture and so and we did and so luckily that corn came up i did a pre-emerged tine weed pass on it um, leveled everything off and after that pass the corn was probably four and a half inches deep so it was pretty deep um, but because the ground was so nice and fluffy um, our corn pushed right up through it um, without an issue and uh, it came and so for really the last three weeks the corn um, it's or the first three weeks of growth the corn had um, there was no weeds in this field hardly whatsoever um, because it, there hadn't been a rain on the field to germinate any weeds and so since I did that pr pre-emerged timing pass um, it got rid of any weeds that were uh, trying to come at the time of planting and then since it didn't rain after that uh, there was just really no weeds coming so I did not have to do an emerge or an after emergence tiny weeding pass on this field which normally I do um, but we'll look over here kind of at our weed pressure and what we have going so the last weed control pass in this field was before this corn was up, which is really shocking because if you look down, um, you just see these little weeds that are about an inch tall. Um, there's a very few, like right in the row, like this guy, taller foxtail, you know, he's four to five inches tall, um, but he's going to get cultivated out immediately. But he might have been left in the wheel track um, and I didn't quite get him out. Uh, when we were tine weeding or he just happened to be in that moisture and germinated uh, without rain uh, But for the most part this field is looking really clean and we're in here Yeah, getting what is out here cleaned up um, without much issues and Yeah, and this corn is just taken off now that it has the moisture um, And we've been you know high 80s real humid I mean, it's just been the corn growing weather that we needed and so we can look back and see uh, just how it's doing at getting everything in the row. I mean, you can see there's really nothing left uh, Honestly, the only thing I was seeing was a slight bit of Canadian thistle um, That was a little bigger um, Well, the problem with the thistle is it just germinates from so deep here. I'll show you over here It germinates from so deep that it's big enough and I might have cut him off Not quite I pushed him over um, That even after you field cultivate it'll still pop up out of the ground right away but, and then this guy you can see is right next to the corn plant here. But I'm going to take care of him, get him out of there. But yeah, so it's cleaning up really nice guys for what we're working with. And I'm pretty excited about it. So anything that is left in the row, like honestly, those little bit of Canadian thistle I showed you, um, I will be back in here cultivating this field for our final pass. And I'm going to say a week, week and a half. And at that point, this corn's going to be all but waist high and i'm going to be able to come in with our ridging wings and really push a pile of dirt up on the base of this corn and it's going to clean up anything that's left but that really won't be much i mean i'm really really pretty happy about how this is shaping up and looking and so we can look i got my shields all the way up on this cultivator uh it's flexing the corn a little bit but not not terrible i mean when it when i'm flowing it does just fine um so but it's right on the edge as far as being able to get through here with these tunnel shields on um, but it's looking real nice and it's cleaning up really good so i'm pretty happy about that and yeah i guess those are the things when the weather cooperates uh it'll just make life easier i guess is kind of what uh this field is just kind of proving and timing your planting windows i mean this one was fairly ideal um i really i mean i would have liked to seen rain a little bit sooner uh, just because right before the rain the corn was stressing a little bit but i mean because it didn't rain we also didn't have the weed pressure so uh it's just letting us have a really really nice beautiful field out here 
and so I mean it, it's a give and take but we're pretty happy about how things are shaping up guys so thank you